Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Sofern. Now this here is their SC-13. Now the version I have here is the Luminous SST-40 in cool white. Now they sent this to me, they wanted me to test and review this light. This is a complete kit. So let's wait no further, let's open it up, see what's in. User manual here. We do have a lumen output chart here. It's kind of small. Sorry about that. Puts out 1300 lumens on that. You're thinking to yourself, it's not a large amount of lumens, but when you see the size of this thing, it's pretty incredible. Multi language on the user manual front and back. We have one USB to Type-C charging cable. Nice quality on that too. One clip. Now I will be using this because it is on the small side. And you have two O-rings and one lanyard. These lanyards are very small. That's everything out of there. Now this here is the reminder. I'll let you remove the protection piece here that's on the light between the battery and the spring that is. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the light. There it is. Very compact. Definitely a pocket carry. Perfect size for EDC. Now right off hand you can use this hands free as well. And the batteries in it easily support its own weight. Sideways, upside down not going to go anywhere. Really like and use that feature all the time. Especially when the power goes out you just put this hang this up on the chandelier and uh, have the light shine down. Perfect. Side switch there. I like the way the center goes narrow. You can table stand that if you need. Here's the charging port there. I like the way that body thins out here. Definitely makes it look nice. Now the button does stick out a little bit there. Now the style and design on this is very nice. I really like these smaller lights. Now let's go ahead and put on the clip. want to make sure that I do this right. So we'll put it on this side. And it fits on there just like that. Got some good resistance. Nice looking. lanyard hole there. Now the machining and finish on this is very nice. No issues. 
I've been doing reviews for Sofern for many, many years. And I've never had any issues. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics. This is running the Luminous SST40 LED. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get this open and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. Starting off here with the spring. Pretty heavy duty for this size of light. And we got the battery and the protection piece here. You want to remove that. Now I save those. Be a good idea to save it. Even if you don't use it on this light, you can pretty much use it on any light. And uh, that way you can uh, keep that battery life longer. Now there's a straight contact on the head of the light. The battery here is an 18350. 1100 milliamp. More than enough power to run this light and give you some good run times. This is an unprotected cell. This is an 8 amp cell. So now let's go ahead and uh, put it all back together. Now you can run other batteries in this as well. Just make sure they have button tops on them. Now let's go through the UI. So now we're going to go ahead and click it one time. It does have a battery level indicator there. I probably were testing the light before I got it, so it's on the higher output. So go through those light levels, press down and hold, or you can hold it down. It's up to you. Individually do this. Take a look here at the beam, kind of see how the hot spot is pretty much bleeding all over the place there. Further out you get, probably going to lean more towards the flood. It does have a little bit of area there of concentration, but further out. And Kind of see a little bit of the halo effect on that. Now, if you're not bothered by that, this should do fine. Now, if you do want to get the highest output, you're going to double click. 1300 lumens. A lot of light coming out of this little thing. Yeah. Bright. So now you can double click again. We'll get you strobe. And that is a variable speed on the flash. And it is distracting. Click at one time. This does have memory mode. So if you do want to turn it on there, turn it off, turn it back on. Then from off, you can press and hold to get the lowest light output that this can do. Very nice light output there. Walk around the house when it's dark. This will do just fine. It'll get you the longest run time as well. And that's all there is to this little light. Impressive light output, especially for its size. Now this is pretty warm. Not too bad though. Very nice build quality on this been impressed with Sofern for many years and uh, this one does well so let's wait no further let's take this little guy out see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Sofern 
SC-13, little tiny wonder of light here, pressed with it. Let's go ahead and get started, see how it does. Water spout there, 38 feet, and it is faintly making it. Kind of see up here. Kind of show you the light level here. So you got some, probably about, yeah, 38 feet there. It's probably be maybe 40 if we're lucky. Before I forget, I'm going to go and turn it off here. I'm going to show you the lowest level. So you can easily see uh, about. 15, 20 feet, if we're lucky, there it is on the fence, and we're going to go back up to where we were, let's go up to the next level here, see how it does, large hot spot there, 65 feet to that tree from where I'm standing, 38 feet there to the water spout. Now it is faintly making that tree of life. Hope my camera's picking it up, but it is with my eyesight. Impressive. So you've got some pretty good range on this. Go to the next level, see how it does. Spill has come alive a little bit more. Really tapers off pretty quickly though. Now if you have any doubts or questions about my testing area here, you can click a link below my video and check it out. It's making that tree of life there now. I can see it on the camera. All right, so let's go ahead and do turbo, see how it does. Wow. Spill area is pretty good, tapers off pretty quickly. Man, especially for this tiny little size light. <laughs> Put it in your pocket whenever you need it. And across those playground there, across the park, yeah. Tree line, fence line. Impressive. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Nice little beam on here. Now, the projection of it is better performance the further out you get, probably 30, 40 feet. The beam is actually pretty impressive. Now, up close, you can kind of see the little halos around in it. If you don't mind that in the beam, you should be just fine for this. This is almost perfect size for everyday carry, even as a backup light. Put it on your hat if you want to make it a headlamp, hands-free light, magnetic. You could put it any metal surface and to have light wherever you need it. But uh, put it on your pocket, on the side, pocket carry this. Very nice quality light and uh, the looks of it are nice as well. The battery here is going to give you some decent run times but if you are going to be using it for extended uh, amount of run time you're definitely going to want to get extra batteries that way you can easily just swap it out now you can charge this light while using it on the lower light levels so that's a nice feature as well the type c and that 18 350 battery is going to be the perfect balance. If it was the 16340 
run times are going to be a little bit less. But uh, I'm not seeing any issues with this. Clever design. I like that. All right. Well, I want to thank Sofern for sending me this SC13 to review. Now, if this kit is something you are interested in getting, I will leave a link down in the description box below. Also working on a special discount code. If I do get that, it'll be there with the link as well, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these new lights from Sofern to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness.